everyone, it's been a little while and I apologize for that, but I had a completely unexpected surprise trip to San Francisco this past week and it was amazing. My sister recently moved out there in July and she wanted me to visit her so really without any notice and kind of telling me last minute she purchased tickets for me and Brian and so we ended up going and it was a lot of fun. Maybe I'll put a bunch of pictures at the end of this video, maybe not, I'm not too sure. If you follow me on Instagram I have tons of pictures on there from our trip and you can go check that out. I will leave a link to my Instagram down below. So because of all of that being such a surprise and I had to kind of prepare for it last minute, I didn't do a lot of reading at the end of September. So I'm gonna go over what few books I read in September. I literally only read two novels and a few manga and that's it. So the manga that I read was Volumes 1 through 6 of Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon by Naoko Takeuchi. I did enjoy it a lot. I do like the anime better than the manga, but I'm not sure whether it's just like my biased views with the fact that I grew up watching it and not reading it. So this is definitely more for a younger audience. I also found myself a little bit annoyed with Usagi at certain times. I've always been slightly annoyed with her character just because in parts she seems like really whiny and they like dumb down her character sometimes. She does go through a lot of character development throughout the story but in the beginning it yeah she was really annoying to me. I also find her age to be a little bit unbelievable. Um, she's supposed to be in middle school and although her personality is definitely that of a middle schooler's but her body and some of the more adult themed things in here definitely make me forget that she is only in middle school when she starts this adventure. I just don't know why they did that. I think they really should have put her in high school. Uh, that would have been a more believable thing. In middle school I wasn't thinking about like true love and stuff like that so. But I really did enjoy this. Again I liked the nostalgic feeling it gave me just from having grown up with the anime and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I did read one contemporary novel in September and that was Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I have recently purchased her newest book, Isla and the Happily Ever After, and I had not read this yet. I've owned this book forever, as you can see. I still have the old cover and I actually really enjoyed it. Something in all of her books has always annoyed me slightly. And in Anna and the French Kiss, I believe it was more due to the fact that Etienne was still dating somebody when he started kind of flirting with Anna and falling in love with her. So with this, it was kind of the same type of thing. She was dating somebody and yet she was falling for this other guy and she knew it was happening and yet she just didn't let the other guy go. But overall I really enjoyed this story and Cricket is one of my favorite characters in this story. But I liked her character as far as her fashion style and it was really cool that she just didn't care and wore whatever she wanted and I wish I had that kind of empowerment to just wear whatever the hell I want but but overall I really enjoyed it and I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. The final book that I read in September was Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas. This took me about two weeks to read but the reason being is I didn't actually get to start reading it when I wanted to which was towards the beginning of the month. I started in the middle of the month and then all of a sudden this whole trip to San Francisco kind of like took over and I had to prepare for it all of a sudden and go and the book came with me and I did read it on the flight a little bit but I live in Florida so it was basically a six hour flight so most of my reading of this was done after I got back. This series is one of my favorite series however I did have slight problems with the beginning of this book. It felt like Selena's depression about herself was a little bit too much in the beginning and she I just I don't like reading the points of views of depressed people where like the entire beginning of the book she was just like bringing herself down saying you know that everything was her fault and that she sucked and that I don't know I couldn't stand it but when her and Rowan started connecting more and becoming closer that's when I really really started to pick up the story again and the second half of this book is amazing I loved it and I cannot wait to see 
what happens in the next book. Even though the first two books have always been five out of five stars for me, I ended up giving this one four out of five stars just because of her personality in the beginning of the book. At the end of this book is just blows me away and her character is just becoming a lot more confident and stronger and that's what I like. That's what I want to see. I feel like she had way too much development in the first two books to have been depressed in the third book and that's what kind of upset me. But anyways, I'll stop ranting. So on to my October TBR. Um, for the most part, I tried to do the theme October Halloween. So we have a lot of semi-scary stories in here, but not really because I'm not really a big horror genre reader. But I'm going to try. For now, a lot of them are just more um, themed to certain things like we have ghost themed ones and skeleton themed ones, alien themed books, but they're still YA so they're not like the scariest things. So I'm going to be doing a separate video for the booktube manga club going over what manga we're going to be reading but I'm just going to briefly put them in here. Uh, the first one is I will be reading the manga version of Battle Royale and that I don't actually physically own a copy of so I'll be reading it online or trying to purchase it online. The other manga that I chose for the club in October is Pet Shop of Horrors by Matsuri Akino. And there are 10 volumes to this. I happen to own all 10 here. So we will be reading this one. It has been forever since I've read this. I read this back in high school. I think I've only read it once through. So it'll be really exciting to reread it because since it's been so long, I'm just wondering like if I'll remember a lot of the storyline or if it will almost seem like new to me again. So. I cannot wait to dive back into this story. The book I'm currently reading isn't really scary at all. I was in a fantasy mood right after reading Air of Fire and I started this actually September 30th so technically it was still September so it wasn't into my October reads. But anyways it is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. This was in my TBR for September and I never got around to it. I am currently not that far. I'm only like 35 pages in. I'm enjoying it so far. We'll have to see. Uh, it does kind of have that Halloween theme in the fact that she's the daughter of death, I'm thinking. You know, that's what I've gotten from the storyline so far. So a death, Halloween, kind of fits in there. I'm, I'm making it fit. I'm making it fit. So we have this one. The next book in October I plan to read is School Spirits by Rachel Hawkins. This is the companion novel to the Hex Hall series, which is about witches. There we go. Witches, ghosts, spirits, um, mythical creatures, Halloween themed. And like I've mentioned when I purchased this and after I read Hex Hall that I loved that trilogy and I cannot wait to read this. Another book that I've started but kind of stopped because I was reading it along with somebody. I plan on asking her again if she wants to read it with me this month, but if she doesn't want to then I'm gonna go ahead and read it because it fits with my theme and I want to read it now. And that is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The second book just came out, Infinity Sea, and I want to go ahead and pick that up. So I want to read this really soon. I've heard a lot of really good things about it and I was enjoying what I read so far. I got about that far in. I was reading this along with Sarah from Sarah Bookworm. I will leave a link down below for her. So I want to ask her if she'll read it along with me. I don't know if she'll have time because she's actually in the middle of writing her own books. Uh, I believe she finished one already and I cannot wait to read it and I'm super excited for her. I will do more mentioning of her books in other videos. So I will be reviewing it and probably putting a review up on YouTube at some point whenever I get around to reading it. The next one I have here is Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy. I purchased this a while ago. I can't even remember. It was sometime last year. I owned the first five books and I was really really excited to get to it and they just sat on my shelf. So um, all I know is that it is kind of like a detective story, but the detective is a skeleton person named Skullduggery Pleasant. And I figured that fit really well with the October theme and I needed to get to reading this anyways. So I'm really excited and I hope I enjoy it because like I said, I have the next four books after this 
and I really want to read it, so we will see. And the last and final book, if I get around to it after reading these, Horns by Joe Hill. Initially I picked this book up after having seen the trailer with Daniel Radcliffe in it, and it looked really awesome, so I wanted to pick it up. Plus it is in the horror genre, so we will see. All I know from the trailer is that it's about a guy whose girlfriend goes missing or she's murdered, and the town that he lives in thinks it's him, and one day he wakes up suddenly and there's horns growing from his head, and there's the mystery of that, and also the mystery of finding out what happened to his girlfriend, and it's supposed to be really creepy. So those are all the books that I will be reading in October. What are you all reading this month? Let me know, leave comments down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!